Hello friends, in this video we will talk about ketogenesis. We will try to identify introduction, process of ketogenesis and the applied aspect. So what is ketogenesis? Remember genesis means formation. What is keto? Ketone bodies. So remember these three ketone bodies, acetone, acetoacetate and beta hydroxybutyrate. Please remember these names very important in viva it will be asked. So when you are asked in viva what are the ketone bodies this will be the answer. Acetone, acetoacetate and beta hydroxybutyrate. Now in this acetone is a gas. It is an unstable molecule a gas. Okay. Let's see ketogenesis. So we can see here. So we can see here, so two molecules of acetyl CoA combined together by release of coash, the enzyme acetoacetyl CoA synthase will get acetoacetyl CoA or you can say thiolase also. Okay. Now acetoacetyl CoA on HMG CoA synthase that is acetyl CoA to CoA SH will get HMG CoA. What is the full form of HMG? beta hydroxy beta methyl glutaryl coa very important then on lyase hmg coa lyase will get acetoacetate then acetoacetate on decarboxylation acetone on beta hydroxy butyrate dehydrogenase nad plus nadh2 reversible will get beta hydroxy butyrate okay let us see the regulation of ketogenesis. So what are the inhibitors? What are the stimulators? So reactions are inhibited by insulin, increased insulin glucagon ratio and glycogenic amino acids. So what are the glycogenic amino acids? Alanine, aspartate, glycine and methionine. Promoters, increased acetyl-CoA, glucagon, Increased free fatty acid breakdown and ketogenic amino acids. What are they? Leucine and lysine. Please remember this. Leucine and lysine, they are exclusively ketogenic. Okay. Let's see the formation, utilization and excretion of ketone bodies. So, in the liver, blood and extra hepatic tissues. In the liver, acetyl-CoA, where is it coming from? free fatty acids from glucose from amino acids okay they will form the ketone bodies i already explained the detailed mechanism now the ketone bodies will enter the blood in the blood there from there it will go in the lungs that is acetone or the kusmol's breathing please remember this very very important scientist name it will be asked in the exam kusmol's breathing okay and through the kidneys as urine. Acetyl CoA will enter TCA cycle also and form 2CO2. Now the ketone bodies from the blood is going to enter into the extra hepatic tissues like muscle. Extra means outside. Hepatic means what? Liver. What is outside? Muscle. So acetyl CoA will form the ketone bodies from the same sources. Free fatty acid which was coming from the liver directly into the extra hepatic tissues, the glucose, the amino acids. Okay. Now acetyl CoA, I already told you, they will enter citric acid cycle by release of, there will be release of two CO2 molecules. Let's see the applied aspect too. We will see ketosis and dietic ketoacidosis. So ketosis. It is a combination of ketonemia and ketonuria. Ketonemia means ketone bodies in the blood. Okay. Ketonuria, it will be ketone bodies in the urine. Normally, the serum value will be less than 1 milligram per deciliter, not day there. So, in the in case in the if it is in the blood, 100 milligrams per deciliter. If it is ketonuria, 500 milligrams per deciliter. See the difference. It is 5 times. 
so easy easy way i'll tell you just remember ketonemia is 100 five times of that is ketonuria that's all and it may be non pathologic during exercise what is the meaning of non pathologic that means the symptoms will not be exhibited okay right lastly we have the diabetic ketoacidosis that means in the blood acetoacetate and beta hydroxy butyrate will be there. Why am I not telling acetone? You might be thinking. Because it is a gas. Gas is generally unstable. Okay. And what will happen is when there is more acetoacetate and beta hydroxy butyrate, the pH will increase. Okay. And if untreated leads to death and treated by insulin administration, Nothing to do with starvation. Remember this point. Nothing to do with starvation. Okay. So, references from where the images were taken. So, that brings us to the end of the video. So, thank you so much. I will see you in the next video.